happy birthday to you. You guys, my baby boy. <laughs> like I always see on um, on Facebook, they will say my womb opener. <laughs> it's nice today. I'm humble that. Happy birthday. Hi you guys, unfortunately he's not able to go to school today because yesterday the teacher called me that he had call. He wasn't feeling too well, so because of that he was sent back home to come and rest. So I decided to just let him stay at home today since you know he was feeling sick yesterday. So I said okay, let him just stay home today. So guys, we just dropped off Amira, Amiga and Harris at the page here together and we are here to look for cake for him. Yes. You really want those cakes so bad. So just want to see if you can get a frozen cake from here to see the options. I tell to come with him so that he can choose whichever cake he wants to pick. So uh, let's get to cake shopping guys. I think that one is the same with that one. So these are the options we are getting. There's this one. Masika Kako. This is strawberry cake. This one is not a cake, right? Yeah. And there's mud cake. This mud cake, I don't like it at all. Which one is the not? Yeah. Where? So let's see, this is poppies. So do you want this donut? And the cake together. You want it to? Eh? Yes. Eh? Yes, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so we go for this one and this one so that we can use it to celebrate birthday boy. This donut costs two ninety-eight euros for nine pieces. There are nine pieces in there. And this is the strawberry cake, it costs 6 euro 35 cents. Yeah, so this two. So I'll be getting lemon for him because he has cough. I'm gonna use I'm gonna mix the lemon with honey to make like a cough syrup for him. And also I'll be getting egg from him. I always like to bag this egg because they are specially big. You guys, I'll show you. These are really really big. Like, see how big this is. So I like this one. This one has 15 pieces inside and it costs 3 euro 59 cents. I just quickly want to make um, the lemon syrup for him. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of the honey and the uh, yes, can I see. So now I'm going to be having this honey that my mom sent to me. This is straight from the farm, guys. Straight from the farm. 
I don't like to use honey from here for that purpose because I honestly don't trust the honeys from here because I feel like some of them they have sugar. You know? I feel like they're not 100% natural. Like I feel like there's some sugar added to some of the honey we buy from the regular shop. So. <coughs> So the idea is that the honey should be much more than the lemon itself because you want the kids to love it and actually you need just a little bit of lemon for this so I'm still going to add more lemon um, honey. Anytime I make this mixture guys, if let's say Alami has cough and I make this mixture for him, Iris and Amira, they don't have cough for those. They tell me I want to, I want to because you guys, it tastes so sweet because of the, you know, of the honey. You see, it's sweet. <laughs> So the honey is much more than the lemon. So they're not feeling the lemon so much. You guys, so the next agenda or the next program is that I want to start cutting chicken here because I want to start making chicken soup. In case you're wondering, why is she always cooking? Is she cooking every time? Why is she always in? No. The thing is that I honestly do not like to bring out my camera when I don't have anything going on, you know? So I always bring out my camera whenever I have, or we have activity. In the house so that is why you always think of cooking every time this chicken stew or chicken soup i want to cook now it's gonna last us for almost two weeks not two weeks but i would say maybe one week and five days it's like that so i don't cook every time <laughs> Guys, the chicken is now cold, clean, and ready for boiling. There's something I want to mention, guys. In case you are so keen about eating a land food, please, I beg you in the name of God, when you go to African store or maybe Turkish store or any store whatsoever, don't automatically assume that because this is a Turkish soup, so everything I buy here is going to be a land. Don't automatically assume that this is an African shop. Everything I buy here is going to be allowed. You guys, there's a particular chicken that we've been eating in this house for years, like years. So one day I was coming from work, I decided to go to that African shop to buy some other things that would be needed at home. So when I got there, why I was about to pay for what I bought, so somebody came in to buy that chicken that we've been eating. So when the guy took that chicken, apparently that was his first time there. So he took the chicken and asked the cashier that, is this halal? He said, yeah, it is halal. So the guy said, but halal is not written on it. So the cashier told the guy that halal is not written on it, but they wrote slaughtered on it, like slaughtered. But honestly, slaughtered is not enough. The fact that the chicken was slaughtered does not mean the chicken is halal. So that guy dropped the chicken and he bought another chicken that halal was written on it. And we've been eating this slaughtered chicken for years. I'm saying God forgive us, God forgive us because for years we've been eating this particular chicken not knowing that it is not halal. You know, it's another thing if the brand lies and says this is halal. At least you as the consumer, you're not held responsible for that sin because you bought that particular product because of the halal that was written on it even if the manufacturer was lying about the fact that the product is halal or not halal it is no longer your body you understand but in this case clearly they didn't write halal on it they just wrote slaughtered so after that day i went to another shop i don't want to mention names right here so i went to another shop and i got another chicken which is the one we are using since that time so in that one that we bought, the new one that we bought, they wrote 
halal slaughtered, like slaughtered in an halal way. So in that way, you know that this is what you're looking for. This is what you should eat. So in case you are a Muslim, please check thoroughly before buying any products, including chicken nuggets, you know, all this other food. Please check properly before buying it. said she ate really well she slept really well no crying oh no oh you're such a good girl I... yes you're a good girl clap for yourself clap for yourself ba, 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 ba. so guys the chicken steak is ready Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy. It's about to call you. Calling back cake. Who calling? Go there and sing. Yes, who sang? Yes, who sang? Move back. Move back. We are making. Go and meet the amigo. Go and meet the birthday boy and sing for him. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Mhm. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hip. Hey. Hip, hip, hip. Hey. Hip, 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 hip. Hey. Hip, 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 hip. Hey. Hip, 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 hip. Hey. 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 It's time to taste the cake. They say like that is cake. Mm. Let's see what the inside looks like. Mm. Not bad. Mm. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. Wow! Nice. This is really nice. Yeah, it's nice. Sprinkles. So, how is which one do you want? Oh, Pink. Ah, oh, sorry. Bet the boy. Which one do you oh, want? Oh, have Hey, that will be too much. Too much sugar in one day. No way. You have to pick one, one, one. Not three, three, three. Pink. You want pink, Adi Amil? Okay, the birthday boy wants pink. What about Amira? I'm pink. What about Aries? Pink. Okay, so you can take this back. Put this back. Hey guys, I'm so happy that Alami is mine. Like today brings back a lot of memories for me. All the things I went through during his pregnancy when I was in Cyprus. When he was in the womb, the doctor said if this boy comes out from the womb, he might not be able to, you know, breathe on his own and things like that. I'm gonna lie. In case you have not seen the story time, because I made the story time video about it, I'll put the story time video somewhere up here so that you guys can go and watch. I'm gonna lie, honestly. And I feel like this boy is the one who has really, you know, so I don't want to use the word suffer, but he has been through a lot with us because we had him when I was in Cyprus alone and I didn't have any experience about motherhood. So it was more or less like my learning phase, like so many things I did wrong, so many mistakes I was not supposed to make if I had experience or if I had people with experience around me that I made. And you know, we had to leave him in Nigeria just because we wanted to come and settle down here before we bring him to join us. So all of these things, I feel like all of his siblings, this Aries, um, Amira, Amida, they just came like on a soft ground because <laughs> we had them here in Finland and we were already kind of set suit before we had them. But Aliami was through all the process with us, you know, 
Alhamdulillah, 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 we bless God, we thank God. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. I think we're going to have the vlog here. <laughs> thank you so much, so, so much. We love you, we appreciate you. The fact you guys are the best, the best, the best. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you haven't yes. already. Click on the like button. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> click on the share button. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video, inshallah. Thank you guys for watching. I love you not to bye bye some more. Bye bye. Are you excited? Yes. Meet you. Hi. 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 <laughs>